Oxygen sensors. They do what their name says. They sense, measure, and report the amount of oxygen left over in the exhaust after combustion takes place. They are used to ensure the correct air-fuel mixture to make sure our air-fuel mixture is balanced. OBD2 requires both pre- and post-converter sensors. They generate a voltage based on oxygen content in the exhaust. If it is lean, it is low voltage. If it is rich, it will produce a higher voltage. This is a one-wire sensor. It is grounded by being screwed into the exhaust, and then the sensor then generates and reports the voltage. In this type of sensor, it is grounded by the PCM, not by being screwed into the exhaust. The sensor still generates and reports voltage, but the ground is the difference. In this third type of sensor, it is grounded by being screwed into the exhaust, but it has an added heater circuit. This fourth, this fourth style is really a combination of the other three. Can you tell the difference between these two types of oxygen sensors? Well, they look the same, right? But they do function differently. One is a conventional type, and the other is a wideband type. Conventional O2 sensors have been the mainstay in the automotive industry for decades. Wideband sensors were developed to more accurately measure air-fuel ratios over a broader range of operating conditions. That's why they're called wideband sensors. The narrow band only measures between 0 and 1 volts, crossing over the half volt point repeatedly back and forth, and it does it as it switches between rich and lean. A wide band can measure between 0 and 5 volts, a much wider band or measurement scale. The higher the voltage, the leaner the mixture. So it doesn't report just that it's lean or high, it can report how high or how lean. And the lower voltage is a richer mixture. Notice that they both report rich and lean conditions. One switches back and forth between rich and lean and switches voltage high or low. Now the other does not switch, but instead it increases or decreases the reported voltage. The narrow band can only report that the mixture is either rich or lean, but not how rich or lean. And the wide band can report how rich or how lean the fuel mixture is. Now to learn more about air field sensors, we'll cover that in a separate video.